Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you some important file stick settings that you should be turning off in order to protect your privacy and secure your streaming experience. Now these settings can often be overlooked, but they can make a big difference in keeping your file stick safe and secure. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into your file stick settings that you need to turn off right now. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Okay guys, so you know those annoying notifications you get when you're in the middle of a nice, great movie and you're enjoying yourself and suddenly a notification pops up. Well, we can get rid of those. And why wouldn't you want to get rid of those? Well, it's easy enough to do. You just go over to your settings, go over to notifications, select it and then click on the menu button and then settings and do not interrupt turn it off or on now turn it off now if you do want some notifications coming through you can turn it on and then click on app notifications and then just select the ones you want coming on so you can turn on turn it off turn it off turn it off turn it off or turn it on simple as that guys now another setting which is definitely worth updating is found in your preferences so go down to preferences, select it, and then go down to privacy settings. And of course, it's device usage data. Now you can turn this off or leave it on, but I'd prefer to turn it off. And if you turn it off, you'll get this following information. They're saying that we use your data to provide customized marketing offers. So they're basically tracking what you do. And I really don't want that happening, so I'll turn it off. Now the next one below that is collect app usage data. Now what they do here, the App Store collects information on frequency and duration of used downloaded apps. So if I've got some apps which I don't want them knowing that I'm using, I don't want this turned on. So I'm going to turn this off. Now the next one we can turn off is interest-based ads. So again, they're tracking what you're looking at. Now of course when it's turned off, you will still see adverts, but the apps will not be instructed to use your advertising ID. So they can't build up profiles about you and see what you've been watching or downloading or viewing and then send you ads based on that. Turn that off. And that's it guys. Okay guys, now this next one is a great setting to turn off. If you browse the internet on your Fire Stick TV, just head on over to their settings and then scroll down to applications. And then from there, select Silk Browser because this is what you're gonna be using to browse the internet on your Fire Stick TV. And then on here, scroll down to privacy and settings and then scroll down to do not track. And we wanna turn this on, so scroll down select it, turn it on, go back up, and you can see it's turned on now. And another good one to also have turned on is safe browsing. So this one should definitely be turned on. It protects you and your device from dangerous sites. Now, one thing that really gets on my nerves is when you're watching a YouTube video and you pause it to go outside, maybe the doorbell rings, and you come back in and it's gone to the screensaver. And then when you press a button to get off the screensaver, you'll find that their YouTube video will go into an advert straight away. Now I'm not sure why it does this, but it does do it. So to stop this from happening, you can turn off the screensaver. And to do this, we go into our settings, go to display and audio, and then scroll down to screensaver. And what you wanna do is basically start time, change that to never, and then come back out and you're done. So now when you pause the video, it'll stay paused in YouTube and it won't go into the screensaver and you won't get any adverts. This next setting is super handy if you want to turn off those annoying adverts that come on your home screen. When you hover over them, they play a video with sound. Now, why would you want to turn these off? Well, they're taking up the bandwidth of your internet and also they're taking up the processing power of your Fire Stick. So to turn these off, simply go into settings, scroll down to preferences, and then scroll down until you see featured content. And the first one, it says allow video autoplay. Now when it's off, only still images will appear, so we want that. And the next one, allow audio to play. When this is off, video playback will be silent. Turn that off. You know that annoying sound you get when you're navigating around with your remote on the home screen? Well, you can actually turn that off. If you just simply go into settings, go down to display and audio, and then just scroll down to audio. And there you go, audio, you can turn off the navigation sounds. Turn them on or off, pretty simple. Next, let's go into settings and scroll down to preferences and then scroll down to privacy settings. And from here, you can turn on data usage monitoring and you've got various options here. You can set your video quality. You can change it from good, better and best, which is the best, of course. You can also set data alerts and you'll receive an on-screen alert when your Amazon Fire Stick TV's data consumption reaches 90% and 100% of the set limit. 
which is handy if you're on pay per minute data consumption. So if you select set data alert, you can set a data limit in gigabytes for your Amazon Fire Stick. Now another useful thing you can do is check which app is using the most data this month. Just click on the monthly top data usage and then the Fire Stick will do some calculations and you'll get the app that's using the most data that month. So overall guys, you can agree that this is a useful first secret setting. Okay guys, so this next setting will allow you to download your own personal apps or transfer them from a USB stick onto your Fire Stick device. And what you need to do to enable this option is go into settings, go down to My Fire TV and then go to developer options and select it. And then make sure ADB debugging is turned on. Now it does give you a warning saying this will allow anyone on your network to install applications from untrusted sources. So make sure you only have this turned on when you're on your own network at home. When you go out and maybe you're in a hotel, make sure it's turned off. Therefore making sure you can only install apps onto your device on a public network. Okay, so scrolling down to apps from unknown sources, we want to select that and turn it on. Now it gives you a little warning saying when you use applications from unknown sources, your Amazon Fire TV stick and personal data are less secure. But of course, we're only going to put on applications that we know is secure, so we can turn it on safely. So we all know that the Amazon Fire TV sticks still only come with only 8 gigabytes of storage. However, only about 4.5 gigabytes is available for you to use for your own apps. Because the rest is used by the device's operating system and the numerous system apps that come pre-installed on the device. And therefore, you start running out of internal storage quite quickly if you like to have numerous apps installed at once. And it gets worse if you've got lots of games installed, because they're a lot larger in size than your normal apps. Okay, so Fire Stick apps have got bigger and bigger over the years, and the number of pre-installed apps from Amazon continues to grow each year. But the internal storage of all the Fire Stick TV models is the same at 8GB which was what it was in 2014 when the Fire TV Stick came out. So a lot of users experienced running out of internal storage on their Fire Stick TVs. So of course, we all need help managing the storage on our Fire Stick TVs. Now so Amazon has come to the rescue with a solution to help you figure out which of your Fire TV apps is hogging up most of your space. And this solution comes in the form of an option to sort your app list by app size, which makes it a lot easier to know which apps you might want to delete first. So at the top of the Manage Installed Applications list within the Fire TV Settings menu, you'd get the list of apps sorted alphabetically. But now you get the option to sort the list by app size. This option automatically places the largest apps at the top of the list. And all you need to do to access this new feature is click on Sort Alphabetically and you'll get a new sub-menu and you simply select App Size. So as you can see, this makes it easy to see which apps will free up the most internal storage space if they were uninstalled. And worryingly on the top of my list seems to be the Amazon Silk Browser. And to be honest, I can't really remember the last time I used the Silk Browser on my Amazon Fire TV stick. I always use my phone to browse the internet, so I would definitely consider uninstalling this app. Because at 148 megabytes, I could easily get three other apps in its place. And as a bonus, if you didn't already know, you can clear up the cache of any individual app very quickly now. Just click on the fast rewind button when you're highlighting the app, and you get the following option to quickly clear the cache of the app. And while we're here, we can easily uninstall the app as well. Simply click on the play pause button on your remote and you'll get the following option. And you can confirm to uninstall or just cancel. All that remains for me to say is, if you like this video, give us a like and please do consider subscribing to the channel for more great content like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.